The Monterey Bay Jade Festival is a yearly gem and jewelry show in the United States featuring one of the largest selections of nephrite and jadeite jade for sale in North America. The weekend consists of vendors selling jade carvings, jewelry, sculptures, and jade rough to the public and features a museum quality jade carving and natural stone exhibition. Our goal is to advance the, the exploration of jade to get people excited about it, no matter where they're at, no matter who they are, no matter what the jade is. If people are excited about it, we've accomplished our goal. Welcome to Jewels of the Trade, the channel for spreading accurate information on jade and gemstones. I'm here with Mike Weber, the president of the organization that oversees the Monterey Bay Jade Festival, a jade shopping event in California that occurs every June. Mike, welcome to the channel. Thanks for letting me be here. This is awesome. For many, many years, we've had a wonderful event just south of us called the Big Sur Jade Festival. With fires and floods, uh, there were times when we couldn't have that festival. So a group of individuals got together and said, let's do another one and have it up in Monterey where there's easier access, there's hotels, there's restaurants, and we'll do it at a different time of the year. So our, our brothers and sisters down south don't feel we're competing, but we're collaborating. The Monterey Bay Jade Festival features some incredible carvers. And it, starting this year, there's an exhibition. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things we really want is we want to be able to highlight the work of everybody. The exhibition is to encourage carvers from around the country. We even have people internationally sending pieces. Shane Zach of Freshwater Jade, who we featured on the channel before, carved this one-of-a-kind Wyoming sage jade octopus sculpture for the 2023 Monterey Bay Jade Carving and Natural Stone Exhibition. Look at the detail on the tentacles and how the eye has a higher polish than the body. Let Shane know what you think of this work of art in the comments below. While California does have nephrite jade that can be found alluvially, this event is actually going to feature a variety of jades from all over the world. Can you talk a little bit about the different types of jade that people can expect to buy at the Monterey Bay Jade Festival? There's going to be people who will be bringing different types of jade in slab form for carving. There's always things from our country, like Wyoming, just beautiful carving stone from Wyoming. If you look at uh, what Luke Miller brings from Guatemala, he is the source of some of the most amazing Guatemalan jade and his team of carvers. So he brings both, both slabs and then also carvings. It's remarkable. There's BC jade, there's always some Siberian jade, and then you get into a variety of different, very interesting things that you would never see before that um, pop up. People know that this is a, a great market for carvers who are looking for the unique, because we always have customers coming to us saying, hey, I want something that nobody else has, and people wanting to celebrate. So we've, it's become the place to, to come and see. What type of jewelry can customers expect to find? The most common is uh, lots of wonderful earrings that people have come up with, and pendants from simple Polynesian or Pacific Islander, like the Toki like the fish hooks, but then much more extravagant from there. So it's a whole variety of different things. What about traditional jade jewelry, like beads and bangles? There are some local people like Alan Spihart, who does an amazing job making both beads and bangles. His bangles are insane. It sounds like nephrite and jadeite jade are both going to be represented at this event. Can you just kind of go through some of the, the highlighted jade carvers that customers are going to want to see and maybe talk a little bit about what they're known for? You have Justin Barrett on the show. I got to start with him. He's one of my favorite guys. Uh, Justin and I have been divers forever. So he is one of the premier local carvers in the Monterey area. And he'll have an assortment of carvings, pendants, earrings. He's known for a beautiful earrings, all different types. Luke Miller, I, I mentioned. You're going to also see people like George Schmierholz, who is, is probably one of the finest jade carvers that we have in the United States. And he's in California. How many vendors are there going to be? There's going to be about 50 vendors. Um, wow. Oh, this is yeah. a big event. Yeah. So it's, it's not a little tiny event. This is a destination. This is worth getting on a plane and going to California to visit. It sounds like this event is going to really showcase the American jade culture, which is smaller and less talked about and really less known even to the rest of the country. I think there's little pockets of culture around the country. The people in Wyoming have a culture and the people here have a culture. The people up in the Eel River have a culture. The people up in BC have a culture. Well, when you look at it, we all have the exact same car carving culture and, and the, the hounding culture where we're finding those natural stones. And our goal is to advance the, the exploration of jade 
to get people excited about it, no matter where they're at, no matter who they are, no matter what the jade is. If people are excited about it, we've accomplished our goal. That's all we want to do. I absolutely love that. What kind of price point can customers expect to see at the Monterey Bay Jade Festival? It's it's all ranges. A lot of it is at transactional pieces. So you can earrings for $100 to $150. You can get exceptional earrings for $300 to $500 that are pieces of jade that are just unbelievably remarkable. Beautiful ocean polished stone with a hole punched through it on a leather strap. That's the old way. And those are still around. But then you can get pendant carvings that are a couple thousand dollars that people have invested tens or hundreds of hours in to make something extravagant out of this little tiny stone. Jesse Stout of Mayan Mountain is known for unique Guatemalan jadeite jade jewelry and carvings. You can actually see him in our Ultimate Jade Tour of Tucson video, which I'll link to below. He is definitely a jade vendor that you won't want to miss at the Monterey Bay Jade Festival. Jordan, another cool carver who's coming, or he's not actually coming, he's submitting a piece. He's in Norway. This is uh, Victor Johansson, and he's taking a piece of nephrite jade from the United States, from California, actually, and he's made an axe out of it. Maria Shoup, fantastic person. Uh, incredible carver. It sounds like some of the really big name carvers are going to be there. Beloved brands. What other types of things can customers who are maybe out of towners coming into town for the event do in Monterey? Monterey is known as a tourist town. It's the first capital of California. So it's a historic town. And in California, we don't have much history. You know, our, our state was founded back in 1848. So we're 175 years or so. This is this wonderful Spanish area. Uh, you can see all the Spanish buildings that are right there at Custom House Plaza with the thick adobe walls. It's the old custom house where they used to have to pay your customs fees as you brought products in. It's a historic city. It's a beautiful area. You can come see sea otters. We're right next to the ocean. So you'll hear the sea lines barking as you're standing at the vendor booths. Great restaurants, great food, great hiking. Mike, real quick, can you just hit on the dates of the event, where it's going to be, and if you plan to have it around the same time each year in the future? We do it every June. This is the second week in June. It's June 9, 10, and 11. It's at Custom House Plaza, which is right at Fisherman's Wharf. It is right at the edge of the water. 